you know, I like Donkey Kong. He's always been such a character. I've always loved picking him in Mario Party, Kart, Baseball, Tennis, you name it. I think it's because of how comedically out of place he feels from everyone else there. Now regarding the mainline Donkey Kong series, me, I'll, I'll be honest, there's not a lot of Donkey Kong games that I own and of the ones that I own, I think I only like like one of them. I've gathered all of them here. Um, so the first one I think I ever played was Donkey Kong Jungle Climbers. I played it all the way through. I believe it's the first one that I ever played. I have Donkey Kong Country Returns, which was a pretty big one and that I never actually finished. I think I played the arcade one as everybody usually does and I've never ever finished it in my life. And also Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy, which by the way, funny story. I think I remember I actually found this lying on the ground somewhere. I don't know where. I think it might have been in a theater or a like a playground arcade or something like that. And I remember the sticker was actually ripped off, so I was like, ooh, yippee, like a free little mystery game. I wanna find out what it was, and I popped it in, and it, it I was pleasantly surprised. In all honesty, I think the only Donkey Kong came, uh, came. <laughs> In all honesty, I think that the only Donkey Kong game that I really loved was was DK Jungle Climbers. All the other ones that I mentioned it didn't retain my interest enough for me to complete them all the way through. Look, I love Donkey Kong, but his games are boring as f I'm sorry, Donkey Kong lovers, but they really just don't do it for me. They aren't objectively bad, it's just a preference thing. And I haven't played or explored many of the Donkey Kong game titles. There is a lot to unpack there. Take solace at least in the fact that I think he is a fire-ass Smash character. Dude, that man destroys in that game. He even has some of the dopest looking stages, and the music, I have to admit, is pretty jamming. There is one famous track from a certain Donkey Kong game, Donkey Kong 64, I believe, that got remastered and plopped into the soundtracks for Melee. That's at least how I got introduced to it. And let me tell ya, it is a banger. Ah, DK Rap, you beautifully odd musical mystery, you. Unlike the Mario movie, I will respectfully mention right away that the creator of this timeless classic is Grant Kirkhope, mainly recognized for his work on the Banjo-Kazooie games, and yes, of course, Donkey Kong 64. I think it was a wildly bizarre choice to not credit him near the end, by the way. Borderline disrespectful. So most of you probably assume that I chose to talk about this song because of its recent inclusion in the Mario movie, and yes, that is half true. The truth is, is that this has always been on my list of must talk about songs for quite a while now, so the fact that there was this whole controversy wrapped around the composer not getting credited, and it just kind of pushed me to talk about it a little bit earlier rather than later. I'll let the cat out of the bag now, even though I kind of already alluded to it earlier. I didn't play Donkey Kong 64. I didn't own a 64 anyway, so I didn't hear this song from here originally. I heard it from here. Oh yeah, baby! I grew up with a GameCube in the house, and like most people, I played a ton of Melee. I played the crap out of it too. Every stage, every character, I wasn't really that good, but I played it anyways. Why let that stop me? I play a lot of Smash still to this day, and nowadays you wouldn't catch me dead on any of these Donkey Kong stages because f that and f all of this. These days, I've gotten a bit more competitive than I did in the past. Back then, I used to role play with the characters with my little sister. We never really took the game that seriously. So I played on this stage quite a lot back then, and we enjoyed the hell out of that backing track. Ass beat! 
Dude, in all sincerity, I do have a bias against the original because of this version. I don't know how my allegiance would have changed if I had grown up with the original version and with a 64. My guess is knowing myself, probably be simping for the Ridge. Speaking of the original, I guess it would be the most logical thing to do to just go through the whole song's lyrics and do a little breakdown of the whole thing. So why don't you follow me as I take you through this monkey rap? Huh. Okay, okay, first off, who the fuck are these people? Did some of these guys get like blacklisted or something? Okay, all right, so that's Donkey Kong and that's Diddy, obviously. And so what, they they discontinued Prince Kong. That one, I think I actually had a toy based on this one. I don't know what his name is. I'm sure they'll say it later. And then who is this Girl Kong? Is that Baby Candy Kong? They do baby characters here outside of the Mario Party and Kart games as well? Wait, wait, Prince just changed outfits. What was, was he not supposed to look like that? Cause I was sort of digging that fit. Hey! You know what is well. this Donkey Kong? Okay, I'm feeling him a little bit right now. Yeah. Wait, when the f did Donkey Kong have a gun? That does not look right at all. If I was working at a convenience store and Donkey Kong tried to come at me like that, I would laugh in his face. Donkey, give that back to D Diddy Kong. You can't, you you can't rock that. He's bigger, faster, and stronger too. Oh, clearly not being humble there, a eh, Donkey O. D K. Donkey Kong is here. Okay, this this Kong's kind of pretty badass. She can shrink, she can run up walls, she can fly. She's like three different Marvel superheroes already. Where's DK's powers? All he has is a gun, biceps, and a fat ass. Where are your powers, bro? All they they kicked her out. Why is she, she's fucking cool as shit? In full honesty, though, I don't even know if she's in any of the new games. I mean, I haven't seen her anywhere other than in this video right now. I think this is like Beta Dixie Kong is probably who she is. They didn't even say her name yet. But yeah, if this is old Dixie Kong, then I'm fine with it. Because she's looking a little bit too much like Crash Bandicoot's sister right now. If you choose her, you'll not choose wrong. You'll not choose wrong. Is correct grammar that? <laughs> what the, why'd they say it like that? Is long arms bringing it around town? Yeah, he absolutely is. Look at that. Okay, I love the SpongeBob reference. Unintentional, but still, I love the dances. I'm starting to see why this one got cut out. I can see why. I, he got cut off. None of these moves are very impressive. I do most of this stuff after having dairy. Ah! Also, on a side note, I didn't approve Nintendo to include me in this game. I'm gonna have to have a serious talk to them about that. 20 years after this has come out. Hey! What the f did he? I didn't know he had these sort of moves. That is unironically the best dance I have ever seen in my life. He's raising the f out of that roof, boy. Okay, so wait, if Donkey has a gun, what the hell does Diddy have? Okay, so he also has guns, but he flies and he plays the guitar. Again, Dixie is like the only one that Marvel is hitting up on the phone right now. Everyone else can fucking take a hike as far as they're concerned. Finally, he's here for you. It's the last member of the DK crew. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not feeling this dance as much. This so strong, it isn't funny. Okay, wait, wait, what? So... So he's strong, which doesn't really matter because Donkey Kong, he already said that. But then he's also not funny. Why'd you have to say that? He may suck, but he has feelings. Now pick up a boulder with relative ease. Ah. crushing rock seem such a breeze. He just got crushed by a rock. He, I thought he crushed them. 
Again, I'm starting to see why they didn't bother bringing some of these motherfuckers back. Come on, Cranky, take it to the bridge. Cranky just came out. Was wait, he was he there though spinning the whole the tables the whole time and I didn't even see him. Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Great melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Okay. Walnuts, peanuts. But where's the lyrics? I can't I don't know what they're saying. Well, oranges and coconut shells. Oh. <laughs> they just end it like that? Okay. Honestly, I really love this opening. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this plays as like an introduction to the game. George Andreas, I think is his name, is the one who did the singing and the lyrics. Him and Grant Kirkhope, they kind of made it like a joke, basically. It says here in Wiki that it's got it got a mixed reception when it came out, which I can understand. I think it's funny, and I don't think it works. I think it works as a joke, but not as a legitimate song. A lot of the lyrics are pretty half-baked, and the general composition of the beat and the singing just sounds unhinged. I respect the people who have a strong, loving, nostalgic connection for this, though. I think it's fully warranted, but then again, what say have I in that? But now that we wrapped up that breakdown, I want to talk a bit more about this remixed version. But before that, though... Hang on, hold on, hold on, time out, time out. What the hell did you just say? Uh, I said... Okay, no, no. It, it was not any clearer the second time around. Yeah, it's really hard to understand those parts of the song, so I guess that's one thing that you can fault it for. But does it really matter when the beat goes this hard? He has no style. He has no grace. This car has a funny face. He can handstand when he needs to and stretch it all out just for you. This is an unbelievably catchy remix. I'm sorry, but it far surpasses the original for me. There is a tiny bone I need to pick with the Smash Ultimate version, and I'm not really sure if they changed it in the uh, title previous to this, but they take out that little part that goes, he has no style. He has no grace. And they just straight up jump into this part of the song. I have no initial problems with that segment. It, at the most, it just feels a bit too chaotic, but that's not the main issue here. Why would you take away that part of the song? Eh, well, at least my favorite version is still available to listen to anytime. I think they made that alteration to make it loop a bit smoother. That doesn't make it suck any less though. But anyways, in short, I really enjoy the DK rap. I think the original version isn't quite as good as the Melee remix, and neither is the most recent rendition, but they're still pretty great regardless. I think the original would earn a 3.8 in my book. The Smash Ultimate version can get a 4, and then the Melee version gets a 4.2 out of 5 DK dogs. Oh, you know what? On second thought, probably not a good idea. How about DK Bong goes? I think I not chose wrong in this case. <laughs> God, those lyrics sucked ass. 